someone came up and been like, look, you and fake taxi was fucking incredible work, right? Like, what if they came up and they're like, your positioning and your technique, and like, if they like critiqued it and was like a big fan, like, what would you have said? I don't know. The only time it's ever really happened to me was in my local supermarket. The guy that like worked there came up to me and asked for my autograph. <laughs> <laughs> what did he have you it sign? Was, oh, tell um, me, he had you sign a, a an aubergine? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he was clearly prepared. He had like pen and paper ready. Uh, He'd obviously uh, like seen me come in and was like, yeah. but it was at my local supermarket. So like every time I went in there, I just like see him like yeah. nudging people, telling them who I was. And yeah. Oh, that's, I mean, well, fan, right? You know? <laughs> Can't be mad. Oh, but I mean, like, he should have been like, dude, she's in, like, he's probably saying like nice things, though. He's like, dude, she's incredible. You got to check her out, blah, blah. You know, like, I'm sure he wasn't being like, you know, a jerk about it, right? He's, well, I've had this conversation with Sarah J. So she's one of your amazing actresses. Uh, whoa. <laughs> name, <laughs> name drop. <laughs> Jesus. He comes to the UK quite a bit and I go to the States quite a bit. So we have like, we we can compare and contrast yeah and uh, like in the uk if someone comes up to you they'll be really polite and they'll sort of quietly come over and they'll be like oh excuse me like i just was wondering like oh, are you sarah J?" and she'll be like yeah yeah and like but in america they'll literally just like yell across the room like yo i've jerked off to you for years <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's just this is very different Hey, class, class, class all the way over here. You know what I mean? Just... Ew, no. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, but to be fair, though, like, uh, you know, I mean, Sarah J has some things that, like, I mean, she, I guess she would, like, you know, it's almost like the difference between, like, if you're The Rock, it's tough for you to hide. You know what I mean? But if yeah. you're, but if you're Kevin Hart, you can kind of put a hat on and just be like a guy walking around. But she has some assets that are pretty yeah. tough to put away. You know? Yeah. Right? Yes. Nice. How? I mean, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I mean, have you? But like, have you ever thought of like just for like a laugh, like going to the grocery store and like set a tire? And being like, I wonder what they'll fucking say now. You know what I mean? Like a joke. But no, I guess not. Weirdly, I really don't like drawing attention to myself. So I do kind of just stress out most of the time. Oh, nice. Hey, good for you, though. You want you want your private and professional life separate. I get, hey, me too. Yeah. You know, I get recognized like never. And it's great. I'm telling, like, I hide from people all the time. And I, I mean, yeah. I, I walk never... into like Marshalls or Ross and all the time people are like, I jerked off for you for years. Like, stop, <laughs> stop. You're making me blush. Stop. <laughs> Dude, that would be hell. Like, you just walk in the store, like, I to beat up. Like, Thank you very much. Oh, uh, that's what you know what we should do. We should tell our fans to be like, Look, when you see us, don't say hi, just yell. Just I've been jerking. Yeah, just tell us how many times you jerked off to us, even if it's not true. That's how we say hi on this show, you know. <laughs> we'll call it the old Adrena Winters hello, you know. Yeah, yeah, Give us a I beat off to you. Did you, did you imagine just saying that to a stranger? <laughs> oh, dude. I would I honestly, I legit hope this catch on. And our fans that are they're afraid to say hi now, just wait. It's not illegal. And no. while it is like wildly inappropriate, like it's not like you can just say that to someone in Whole Foods and they can't like get that. Can... Be like, it's not a crime. Also, you have everyone around you asking, like, why? <laughs> what, what is what is this guy's deal you know why are these two bearded men just whacking it to each other i don't know but yeah no i'm uh i'm with you yeah yeah yeah. that honestly for everyone listening and it's to the dozens and dozens uh but all the people that recognize us in public around the, around the lansdale area land of the free home of the brave just uh feel free tell us that you whacked off to us no big deal <laughs> that's I our was, new uh, that's our new hello on this I show i was in a, a very crowded wawa and my older brother who had moved out and i hadn't seen him in a while came in the store and i was like oh shit what's up and he was leaving i was still in line and he real loud and we don't look alike because we're not actually related he's like i love you <laughs> and like said it aggressive and laughed and like three other dudes looked at me and it was like the most i was like 17 i was like i've never been that's never happened to me before and i felt so awkward yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i can't imagine you, someone shouting at me that they masturbate to me right or you can't imagine a father figure saying he loves you or that <laughs> justin i'm sorry i have so many dads <laughs> but not a real one
<laughs> not a real one. That's it. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I make fun of your mom enough. I shouldn't make fun of your dad. That wasn't. We there. can make fun uh, of my dads. I have so many. Oh my god, Justin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, pal. I love you. Pal. Okay, hey, Adrena. Adrena, I have a very burning question. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's been weighing on my mind ever since Matt asked me to hop onto this. Um, so uh I'm a very, you know, open to sex and watch porn all the time. Same. Um, looked up your shit. Mm-hmm. Thank you for the assist on the orgasm, girl. Thank you. <laughs> um i'm wondering if like and if it's too personal no worries but like i'm wondering if i imagine it has to be like the cook coming home to the kitchen like the last thing you want to do is fucking cook yeah when you've been cooking all day like do you does that affect you at all or are you fortunately not not no (laughs) I have an incredibly sexy boyfriend, so yeah. Nice. Shout out to him. Semi pics, girl. Yeah, Semi pics. Is, is, is he in? Is he in the business also? No, not at all. Oh. Um, nice. Yeah. Good for, good for him. I mean, like, so that that is if you're if you're okay to talk about it. Like, what is it like finding a partner? Is that something you're okay to talk about? Uh, like, yeah. Okay. So what is it like, like, as Julie's saying, like finding a partner and, you know, is it something that you're upfront about when you start dating someone or how does that work? And I'm also in like an ethically non-monogamous relationship. So like, I totally understand, but I don't know how like work would get into that. Mm. Mm. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like, you know, like uh, if I, uh, at the end of the day, what she's doing, she it's a business, right? And yeah. it's like, yeah. you know, I I agree. Where it's like you, you know, it's tough to like if you're a construction guy and you're a construction all day, it's tough to go home and and finish your basement, right? You know what I mean? No, like nobody wants to do that, right? Right. right. But I guess Adrena's just she's in it for the love of the game, you know. <laughs> so shout out to you. Uh, but okay, so yeah, so. What's it like, like uh, dating in in this industry and telling, like, when do you tell partners? And then, you know, and yeah, do you still want to bang after a long shoot? Yeah, so I guess my relationship since I've been in the industry, the first one, I was already in the relationship when I was considering oh. the industry. So it was a discussion I had with him and he was really supportive. So that went okay. Um, and then the relationship after that, he was actually a camera guy on set. So he was oh, pretty- awesome. <laughs> getting himself involved in. And then, yeah, the guy I'm with now um, actually met in a bar. So it's oh. the first time I've actually had to kind of navigate the kind of... But I was, it, I was really drunk. So I just I was just like, I'm just going to get this out of the way straight away. And I just showed him my Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Within like ten minutes of meeting him, I was just like, "Hey, <laughs> and so this is what I'm up to," you know, just in case you're wondering. Yeah, like, th- hey, look, you might have had a rough day, but you weren't in a double anal scene, so don't tell me about rough. You know, I'm, I'm kidding. I know, yeah, you know. I would just scare him off, and it and it didn't yeah. work. He just, yeah, he just. Oh, uh, great for him. Yeah. I love that he's like open minded. Like I'm already in love with this guy. You know, he's open minded and he seems cool and he and he game Justin, you missed it. But Adrena, big time gamer. And she's Xbox over PlayStation. So go fuck yourself, oh. Justin. Well, I'll be playing God of War Ragnarok when this ends, and you'll be playing, I don't know, are you playing the new Modern Warfare? Well, uh, here, hey guys, if you want to hear my struggles real quick when it comes to video games, uh, so just moved into a new house, and for the last three years, 